for law and order in the early West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Hi, Silver! Someone to love me 
Or someone who needs me But until then Well, I'll keep on dreaming Keep right on dreaming Dreaming Till my dreaming comes true You get along famously with him. Another guy is Bob Fitzwilson. Did you ever get to talk to him? No, I didn't. He's a really nice guy. Yeah. These guys just stand here waiting for me to feed them. And they come out here and play in the water. They, uh, they seem stick to their heads down in there and, and helps get the flies out of their eyes. Uh huh. Right, right there. So that's why there's water all over the place. Oh, right okay. There. Back up. Back up. So this is. Horses, horses do almost everything by smell. Yeah, they smell of me all the time. Really? And they're smelling of you. And what they're asking is, have I met you before? He's, he's, he's wanting to breathe on Just breathe on you. Okay. And he's, he's saying, do I know you? Have yeah, you been around here before? Huh? Right there. Yeah. I go in the Death Valley wagon. Train. When are you going on that one? That one is in November. You, if I give you a uh, contact, there's a classmate who lives there. Is it? Yeah. And prop? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Too bad Leslie doesn't go see him. Yeah. Yeah, he might not know who I am kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, uh, oh. anyway, that's, uh, nice. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of at the end of my career with them, though. I've gotten to work. Yeah, a little okay. You know, the, you know the ma manufacturer who made those saddles? Yeah, and I have two of them that are Visalia saddles. This one's, uh, this one's kind of a famous saddle okay. right here. If, if I, I'm not going to pull it out, but yeah. it has a real low cantle board on the back. It was made in about 1945 in San Francisco. Visalia is a brand name out of San Francisco that no longer is there. It got burned down in the fire. But in in back in 1800s, if you rode a Visalia saddle, you're riding the best one. The best saddle. Because my father, he had a saddle maker, and uh -huh. he made saddles in San Francisco. Did he? From uh, 1946 until 52. My uncle and his store in Los Angeles, McPherson. Uh-huh. I've heard McPherson's are that's, wonderful that's, I don't have one. That's my middle name, and that's um, my really? uncle. Yeah, no, they're famous. That, yeah. They're quite famous. I have so two I, in my house. I have, uh, let's see, I have another one here. I'm trying to see it. must be. Okay. It's yours. <laughs> nice. There it is. No, that's not it. Okay. I've got another Visalia. It's is not that one? that one. This one is a, a, I can't quite say the name on it. Okay. Roper? Roper saddle? Yeah, Ropers are good saddles. And then they make one out of Phoenix there. So. I don't know why I can't find this. You've got a lot of saddles. Yeah, and I only use one or two. Oh, this is it right here. This is another Visalia right here. 
Maybe I'm sure. When did they stop place. making the Visalias? Uh, they still make them in Fresno. They sold the name to Fresno, but if you can see just the pride of this saddle, like in its day, that was probably about a 1920 saddle or something mm -hmm. like that. And they have this maker on it right here. I don't know if you can see this brand. I can. And then they have it here, and they have it there, and it's on in here on the rigging. It's in okay. here on the side, inside of here. Okay. The maker. I see. Is in there. Okay. And uh, and beautiful. This one, yeah, it's um, it's got any number of brands on it. But anyway, I don't ride those anymore. Mm -hmm. I have them, mm -hmm. and uh, probably I'm ready to move on through them and let somebody else have them. Enjoy it. Yeah. I drop this down and I can put three horses in there. Amazing. I put them in their crossways. And what kind of a truck do you have to pull us back? I just have a, a Ford, a, uh -huh. do, a big uh, diesel, big okay. diesel. And then the back is the, the back end. You just roll that wagon up on there and I have a winch there for it. And I just winch it up on there, chain it down, and down the road you go. Amazing. But at, it, uh, at 55. Yeah. yeah. Just, just like I have to. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I can't. I don't want to go much faster. Yeah. But it, and it's really, it's like How many events did you go to, Bill, a year? Oh, maybe 10. Uh -huh. Maybe 10. I don't go to a lot anymore. It, it, I'm just kind of winding down on a lot of that. So stuff. what do they actually call this thing, uh, trail riding? Yeah, or wagon trains. They're wagon called trains? wagon trains. Okay. And then I work with uh, the Backcountry Horsemen, and we log out the Pacific Crest Trail, where it comes through the central part of California. We log out each year. We go up and cut all the logs out for the hikers to come through. They love you. Yeah, and we do it as a volunteer for the Forest Service. And you pull it with these big horses? Yeah, yeah. I put the pack saddles on them, and then we put chainsaws then on the sides on the packs, and we go up there and, and cut out as big a log, however big the log is, that's what you have to roll it out of there. That's great. Yeah, yeah, and so we're just waiting for the snow to melt right now. It's How many acres do you have for the horses to roam? Ten. I let them free roll around the horseshoe around the house. Okay. So I have ten acres. It's about square. That's That's... From that wrought iron fence, it goes to that back yeah. corner back there, and that's about 700 feet. Wow. So it's about 600 by 700 feet, and that's, that's 10 acres. So. Do they ever eat any of this? Uh, yeah. This, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, a lot of it's just foxtails and, okay. and other stuff. I try to plant that up there. I put oats and wheat out there every okay. year and plant it. Broadcast it out with a broadcast yeah. and then disc over the top of it just to cut it in. Mm -hmm. And I get a little bit. It grows. It, yeah, so, you know, it's it pretty, helps. Pretty poor soil, but yeah. Yeah. It does good. All these trees are sitting on a lava cap. They're all. How many pounds do you think you yield well, on this? I don't know. We probably get a couple hundred pounds off of it. Wow. You know, maybe six or eight bugs. Almost all year round, does it produce? Yeah, it's still got some on it now. Wow, I see a couple in the in the center. Well, there's some baby ones there. Yeah, top. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're, they'll be there this fall. And then inside of there, there's still... There's one year last week was great. There's lots of lemon juice. Uh-huh. A Myers lemon is a, a real sweet lemon. It's, it's not real tart. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a good one. Good for lemonade. Good for lemonade. It's full of juice and has a few seeds in it, but not bad. Mm -hmm. But this time of year, I'll probably need to get them all off so the new ones can go ahead. Yeah. They're all right there. Beautiful lemon tree. What do you feed it? Not a lot. Really? You know, I really don't. I probably should. Mm. Yeah, I haven't, haven't. Other than when I put it in, I worked that up with some soil. Oh, sure. But it's not a lot. Amazing. Good. Sweet. Okay, I am Kathy Hermes Fletcher, and after high school I got married to my still husband, Edwin Fletcher. We've been married 51 years and a few months. Congratulations. We have two children, a girl who's 50 and a boy who's 43. We have five grandchildren. Very good. No great-grandchildren yet because our granddaughters insist they are not having babies till they're much older. Denying you. Pardon? Denying you the opportunity. Yes, they won't give me a little baby to play with. Okay. Um, I basically, when, uh, well, I guess our daughter was about 10. I went to work at Intel Corporation, okay. and I worked there for nearly 30 years. And then I retired from there. And then I got a little bored, 
staying home all the time and not having anything to do. So I got a job as a teacher's aide because it was only part time. I thought it'd be fun. And those little kids about killed me. I got a pneumonia that put me in the hospital. Nearly, uh, it caused my kidneys to fail. And I was in the hospital for three weeks. And then a year later, that I got kidney failure again. So I'm on a somewhat restricted intake of animal protein. And you stay away from little kids. And I avoid ch little children in groups. Okay. And then in uh, 2012, they diagnosed me with lung cancer, which was really unfair because I quit smoking 33 years ago. And I loved to smoke. I loved it. But I got lung cancer anyway, even though I quit. And then in 2015, it came back. So I had surgery the first time and I had radiation the second time. But I still think of myself as a healthy person. Okay. I really do. You look healthy. I'm feeling pretty good. My knees are going to pieces. Mm -hmm. Getting old is not for the faint of heart. And how many years have you been married now? 51 years last March. Congratulations. How did you and your husband meet? At an agogo go in Mountain View called really? Big Beat. Jean and Jane Wood, the twins, had been there before and they took me there and I met my husband and we got married right away and we've been married ever since. Amazing. Yep. Who else did you know at MA, their close friends, or even today? Well, Janet Valley Kylig. Uh, Janet, unfortunately, has dementia and is, is really getting very forgetful. Uh, really, those are the girls that I stayed closest to, the twins mm -hmm. and Janet. My other close friends I knew from Catholic school. Like I mean, Bronwyn? School. Oh, and Bronwyn, of course, Bronwyn. But we didn't see a lot of each other after high school. I think we didn't see each other until there was a reunion for St. Raymond's when they were going to tear down the convent okay. and we went to dinner and that was the first time I'd seen her in years. But I had a nice visit with her a couple weeks ago. Who would you like to also see that you haven't contacted after all these years you've wondered about? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I know that Pam Weems passed away so that would work. I'd like to see Ingrid Hartman again. I always enjoyed her company so much. and. Who else up there? Oh, offhand, I'd have to sit with my book and go through page by page okay. and try to figure out exactly who I'd like to see again because the twins were really the closest okay. of the girls that we went to high school with. Okay. Although I do, I would like to see Joanne Goodhue again. She lives in um, Carson City. Carson City. And she'll be at the 55th. Oh, and where is that going to be held? Lake Tahoe. In Tahoe. Lake Tahoe. Oh, in three years, huh? Yep, so you got to stay healthy. I'm going to try. Okay. That sounds like And fun. we're right now at the Italian Cottage, aren't we? Yeah, at the Italian Cottage in Chico, California. Okay. We just had a great dinner. And you live where now? I live in Corning, which is north of Chico, about 25 miles. Okay. Who's your most favorite teacher at MA and the one you loathe? The <laughs> I loathe Mrs. Eilenberger, and I love Mr. Stobie. Okay. The choir teacher. Very good. Well, thank you very much. Oh, you are welcome.